Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. We've got an unboxing of Cosmos Games Legends of Andor. Now, Cosmos has hooked us up with a copy uh, to show off. I'm going to open it up uh, in an unboxing, and then we're going to go and actually play the game and uh, come back. So the game, Andor needs you. The land of Andor is in danger from the mountaintops. Uh, and force enemies are advancing towards the castle of Old King Brander. Only your small band of heroes stands in their way. Will you succeed in defending the castle and protecting Andor? Legend of Andor is a cooperative board game for two to four heroes. Li uh, live the legendary tales as you unite to battle over encroaching enemy forces after the first legend. More fantastic adventures ensue. You must find the witch and obtain a medicinal herb to cure the sick king. Help the prince re repel the evil powers of the dark mage. In the ancient mines, you seek out precious gemstones and, and uncover grave dangers. And finally, you must pit your skills against the mighty dragon, awaken from an age-old slumber. Can you triumph against these challenges? Only if you work together will you have the strength to be the true heroes of Andor. The game's for two to four players, ages 10 and up, um, six to 90 minutes. Uh, they've got this nice scale on the back as to kind of what to expect. Strategy, out of five, it's got four. Cooperation, it's got five. Fantasy, it's got five. And luck, it's got three. So, Sounds like it's a it's a solid cooperative game. Uh, it's the type of games that I'm getting much more into uh, than I have been before. I'm really really enjoying cooperative play. We've been playing a lot of Pandemic lately, uh, so hopefully this is kind of in that vein. Uh, contents include one double sided game board, 41 game figures and plastic holders, four hero boards, one equipment battle board, 142 cardboard pieces, 72 uh, large playing cards, 66 small playing cards, 20 dice, nine wooden discs. Five wooden cubes, one narrator, narrator game piece, one tower game piece, 15 storage bags, one quick start guide, and one playing manual. Now I will say, looking on this back, this game looks friggin' badass. This is the type of game that I always wanted to play as a kid, and my parents would never get me. Um, the game is the winner of the 2013 Kennerspiel de Jerry's Connoisseur's Game of the Year. So, uh, it's got some nice pedigree as far as uh, awards, reference manual, the game materials. We have a nice short manual, just a couple pages. This is a good thing. We have a quick start guide. That is about as quick as you can get for a quick start guide. Now, looking at the token pieces, or the pieces, uh, we've got a dragon in here that's pretty cool. Tokens look really nice. The graphics look fantastic. I'm going to uh, right away throw out and say that the, the graphics, the printing, look really, really solid, uh, beautifully put together. Can't wait to actually put this all together to uh, show off. So we've got more. And we've got another sheet. This one looks like it has part of the castle that's uh, used in the game. And I should point out that all this is double-sided, too. So you get the front of like the ogre. There's a back of the ogre as well. We have yet more. It's a nice, thick cardboard as well. Oh, we've, got, we've got quite a lot to go. We've got here some game boards for players. I believe this is your adventurers are on the bottom. Again, as I said, front and back. Then we've got the game board, which we're going to crack open. So we have one side. This looks like kind of the underground caves, very Lord of the Rings. And then we've got the top, top side. So, which is nice. You get double use of the game board, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, one thing I'll also point out is the inside of the box is looking really, really nice. If you can kept it uh, so that there's some graphics on the inside and it's not just like a generic box. So that shows that they've uh, they put some thought in there. So I'm going to put all the cards cardboard back just so things don't get lost. Uh, this is one that I have a feeling that you definitely will probably want to get insert if you can find an insert that works. We also have this wood piece. I don't quite know what it is. Some more pieces. Uh, they look like nice wooden pieces, colored. High, uh, decent quality. Lots of dice. I'm always a fan of dice, colored dice. We have yet more dice. 
and cards. Now let's crack open the cards and show that off. Because already the backs of them are looking pretty nice. We've got, we've got that nice new card smell. So we've got the backs. And the front are painted or uh, are printed really, really nice. It's it's the printing's a little small. So I will kind of knock it a little bit about that. It's not horrible. But it's just got that like very nice fantasy vibe about it, which is really it's good. Like it's it's cool. They they definitely clearly have thought through the game as a whole um, and how everything fits in there. And like, they're giving you tons of bags to put everything in. And we're gonna put these cards in while I'm thinking of it. So the cards aren't sliding all over the place. And then we've got this. This is Legends of... Oh, a whole bunch of cards. Legends of Andor checklist. Carry out at each at the beginning of each Legend, except Legend 1. Let's see if I can open up this one. I opened up the last one. Been on a decent streak over these cards, so... Sooner or later, I should hit a wall, right? We have bigger things. I think these are more like your quest cards. What you need to do. Show them off. So we have things like on the bottom here it says, The King Scout could hardly believe their eyes at last. Prince Thorald had returned and called together the bravest heroes from all regions of Andor. In this first part of the introductory game, the heroes must complete four tasks before the actual adventure can begin. The tasks are as follows. At least one hero must uncover a fog token. At least one hero must buy one strength to point from the merchant. You will need two gold for that. And a hero must empty the well. And four, or finally, a hero must end his move on the castle. All tasks will be completed when the heroes have ended their moves on the respective spaces. The hero with the lowest rank C hero board goes first and places his time marker on the Sunrise's box rooster to show that he will begin the next day. Now I'll continue to Legend A2. So that would be A1. And this is A2. And A2 is more adventurous. So basically... It's kind of like an RPG in a box, so it's not just a board game where you go around and kill things and eventually go and build up to fight the main dragon, a la like Talisman. Uh, this one actually seems like we have adventures and tasks that you need to, to carry out, which is kind of cool. I'm liking that, and you can already get the vibe of uh, the cooperative nature of it, where uh, you have to have players go and do various things before you can move on. So um, right there, that kind of lays out exactly what you can expect. Overall, high quality of the materials. Uh, the game seems really, really cool. I can't wait to actually bust it open, have 3D figures to show off. Uh, nothing of it, you know, uh, seems chintzy at all. This is high quality material right here. Uh, Legends of Andor from Cosmos Games. You band together, forget the fantasy, live the legend. Um, thanks for Cosmos to uh, hooking us up. It uh, should be in stores. It's a game for two to four players, ages 10 and up, and it's about 60 to 90 minutes. So we're going to go back. We're actually going to bust this open, play the game, and come back with some gameplay videos and our thoughts. Really looking forward to this one. Huge fan of cooperative games, so this is one I absolutely want to check out, and I can't wait. Thanks for watching. This has been Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. You can catch us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. All that graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, thanks for watching. Keep rolling those die and keep it geeky.